All right, good morning, guys. It is day two of the van build. Officially one week after purchase. Yep. Carter is uh, sweeping out some right now. So the main goal for today is to patch up the rust, which you probably saw from our other video. We went out and bought a welder on Black Friday from Harbor Freight. So we're going to see how well that works and uh, test our luck with some patching. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to spray down these bolts with some PB blaster to see if we can get lucky and get them out. We did treat them last weekend as well, so. Yeah, I'm really scared that they're not going to come out though. Oh, I 100% do not believe they're gonna come out. We brought Where over the- wrong, Van? We brought over the big impact, so um, hopefully we're able to break it loose with that without breaking over the, or breaking the bolt. Um, the other thing we wanna make sure is that before we actually start cutting out the rust here, that uh, there's nothing underneath that we could accidentally cut too deep and uh, cut, it looks like there might be some lines right underneath here not sure if you can see that so we're going to want to be careful around those but first things first we want to try and get this bolt out so perfect, 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 perfect. all right so we cleaned up around the hole a little bit just to see where the good metal was at. I think we're gonna go ahead and cut off basically here and here. And just uh, put a sheet down. We decided that uh, we would have to leave the bolts in. They are not coming out. And uh, there's a little plate basically with two tabs on it. If you spin too hard on this, all it does is spin and bend the tabs, which we did on this one. So same same thing here. Cut out a little bit around, cut out a little bit around, and we're probably going to go to the underside and uh, tack weld that tab to keep it from spinning, and then maybe try and tighten it back down again. So you ready? Do you want to use the tape method? Uh, we could use the uh, we could use sharpie method for this. We could use the wing it method. We could also do that, but I'd rather do sharpie. That's fine. That's fine. You know, measure twice, cut five times, and then you're probably good. Okay. All right, you want to do it? Yeah, sure. All right. Let's cut the van. All right, so just finished cutting out the van here. As you can see, cut out all the rest that we could. Reweld it back together. But, looks like we gotta run to Lowe's. All right, what's going on guys? So. Justin got the welder all set up, did a couple test beads just to start getting a feel for it. Got the welding helmet and everything, so we've already cut a little bit of metal bar here that we're going to use to basically support the underside of the floor. So we got this piece cut here, we're going to tack weld it at the edge here and then onto, we're going to grind this down a little bit to get some clean metal going. So yeah, we'll tack it to the sides here, along this line here, and uh, yeah, we'll start cutting some other pieces and getting into size. Update you in a little bit. All right, so we're back working on the van again. It's legal now. It Fifty does. registered in the state of Florida. It is fully. Got a pretty new plate and everything. Titled, registered. I'm gonna blur that out so you guys can't figure out where we live. But, so, it's a little dark. We're running out of sunlight very quickly these days, but we patched up the floor. As you can see, 
the welds are not pretty, but oh, they will hold. The first time. So, oh. yeah. So I think right now we are going to try and clean this out a little bit, um, clean up the flooring, and then we're going to put down a rust resolver to make sure that we don't have any further issues with rust before we put down the flooring. So we already purchased all the flooring materials. So hopefully we can get this done this weekend and uh, move on to the siding. So insert time lapse here. Hopefully soon you'll be running. No, my light. All right, we found some light. So yep. we uh, painted most of the floor. Um, most of the first coat. Most of it. We gotta go get more paint. We're gonna go get some frozen pizzas and uh, finish painting it, let it dry overnight so we can start working on it this weekend, try and get the floor in. So let's go get some pizza. All right, so. Quick little update. It has been very hard for us to film because we've been working weeknights in the dark, trying to uh, get this done to meet our deadlines. So, as you can see, we painted the floor, patched up the rust, and then used a uh, expanding foam to fill in the gaps. Um, we're just about ready to start putting in the actual flooring. We did decide to use insulation to might as well fill this stuff in since uh yeah since we got yeah, nothing better to do with also it also reduce so. some road noise things like that so like a, so we're not gonna have carpet now let's go look at it from this angle so actually it turned out pretty good we painted it with a rust-oleum rust reformer um just to try and prevent as much more rust as we can and uh, yeah we're about to start cutting plywood get it ready to go so, anything else? I don't think. Let's finally get started. <laughs> finally. All right, so Carter's working on vacuuming and cleaning the floors up. I'm going to start cutting the insulation. We're gonna do probably two and a half inch wide strips. Eh, should be fine. Uh, we might end up with some small. If we need to fill some gas, we'll fill some gas. It's not a big deal. So yeah, let's get to it. So uh, moving on over, we need to cut out that piece still, but uh, that looks pretty good. Yeah. You want to take the dremel of that piece real quick and yep. get that all the way in? Oh yeah. Solid? Hell yeah. All right, so update time. Um, it's been really hard to film, honestly. We've been trying to work on it a lot during the week and at night. It gets really dark here, really early. You know, it's December. So, we've got the first part of the floor in. We're about to get the rest of it knocked out. You can see we got the insulation in. 
Um, yeah, so we're gonna get the rest of the floor in and uh, put in the fancy peel and stick vinyl we got today. And uh, probably take these running boards off too. So yeah, let's get to it. So we only had to shave off half an inch on either side. No big deal, right? We're good. Right. All right, so as you can see, I am sweating. It is a typical winter day here in Florida, but check it out. We have a back half to the flooring. Hell yeah. It's actually fitting really nicely. You can see, you know, measure once, cut four times, and you're good to go. So, yeah, so now we're just screwing it in here. It's nice and sturdy. Glad we went with the three quarter inch plywood because it's definitely gonna make it nice and, and sturdy to mount things too but yeah so all we got left is this little piece back here which we'll put in and then we're going to lay down the peel and stick peel and stick floor so we're almost there and then on to the next all right so it's been kind of hard to film we've been kind of just trying to get it all knocked out but look at this floor. honestly the amount of wood worked out pretty perfectly I told you I did the math. We got a few few scraps left if we need it. Justin did a good job here getting this to set and kind of missed that amount, but did some Loctite. Yeah, surface it'll stay, it. especially yeah. once the actual flooring's on it. Oh, so, yeah. But yeah, it uh, turned out really, really good, honestly. Now we just got to start putting down the actual vinyl. And then we'll have a floor. Sweet. All right, so it has been approximately, what would you think, like two weeks or so? Yeah, I think we're at three weeks today since, since we started this. Since we started on the yeah. floor. So it's been really tough to film. Uh, we've been kind of putting in nights and weekends and uh, you know, it's been getting dark really early. So um, We're gonna have to go back and take a look at the footage that we got, but This is the finished product right here Take a look I'd yeah, say the, it came out pretty nice. The, yeah, the color choice just fits perfectly with the, you know, the blue body paint of the van and the, all the gray panels up yeah, front really, of the cab. Yeah, peel and stick is definitely, it's definitely a little more difficult than I think really we had thought about, but um, it would have been difficult with whatever we chose. But yeah, I mean, no matter what we did, it would have been pretty difficult. Work to get around, like the fuel filler neck area over there, a couple other random just angles, whatnot that we had to deal with. It's um, not perfect, but most of those imperfections will be covered by siding and, you know, the beds and whatnot. So, yeah. my, all in all, I think it came out pretty well. Yeah, I'm particularly proud of how the step turned out and everything and it was cool. we followed the natural curvature of the van around here with the jigsaw. Here's a little view from the back here. Probably one thing we'll end up doing 
use doing some sort of paint or stain or something just to obviously make this not look quite as much like plywood. It looks a little more natural. We'll do that in the back here in the side doors. But overall, other than a couple detail things that remain, it's in really good shape. It's a, it's a great looking floor. Yeah. Exactly what we were looking to do. So I think we're going to end the video here. Uh, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Next yep. will be the siding. The siding is going to go up. Here, here, and here. And then uh, we'll start start building the beds. So, And also, stay tuned. There will more than likely be a video on my 86 Hopefully, fingers crossed, the uh, engine comes back here pretty soon. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, we've got actual fun cars too, not just fans. It's so. <laughs> only been at the machine shop for, what, two months now? Yeah, just about. Yeah, sometimes parts coming from Japan take a long time. I found that out the hard way. So, but yeah, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more. And yeah, have a good one.